you supposed to be a gatekeeper? You, you are a gatekeeper of your children. You are a gatekeeper of, of your life. You are a gatekeeper of your business. You are a gatekeeper of your family. Any family does not have a gatekeeper. You will see they will turn family to grave. So many families are grave because this generation are looking for easy way. Let me tell you something. If I pray for you, delivering you, you join or call, go or call to church, you start afresh. You, you think in a meeting, men of God go make you great. You go make you they go down. You go, it cannot grow because already you are not under a shepherd that's feeding you. You are like a sheep who touch a shepherd. In the kingdom of God, God give you a man and he look for a man. It's uh, everything in the kingdom of God is orderly. That is why most of the team when they go to church, they listen to drama because they, you know somebody can act a drama what you can see with their eyes. The what you watch, the more you look, the more you see. If what you want to see, go see it. You lose your values. Get keepers and watchers. They are keepers of reins. They are spiritual combats. They are spiritual militants. Prayer warriors. Spiritual warriors. Warring reins of the enemies. There are people that God plants in places. Then God see them. Once you are in that territory, God is not afraid. Because this person will combat them. Who is combining the family? Who is combining businesses? Who is standing on the gap? What you see, prophecies you see in the family, you see operating now because nobody can watch over them. Families are looking for baby boy, they're looking for baby girl, they are not watching. Last time, I prayed for somebody. He was a, he was a, uh, he was uh, on route. He was looking for, uh, he was on labor. See how they shout, oh, hell, oh, pastor, pray for me. Uh, I'm in labor. Uh, uh. I knew that this lady would die there. I have to put him in the room of the spirit. I have to be an intercessor. I have to stand as a lawyer. Nobody to stop evil. Evil have a friend and then Satan sat at the gate. The gate is open. So you have to be eating them. You complain what is going on in life because you are not a watcher. You have to stand in the realm of the spirit. To reject the influence of principality, powers, rulers, darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. There are prayer warriors in different dimensions. Interceding, the smoke, breaking portals, going to the realm of spirit, making things to happen in the realm of spirit. There are certain places Satan cannot pray. There are certain places which cannot fly. They will say there's a wicked man in this place. But a watcher is there. You think everywhere fly, flies, they fly. There are watchers who are eyes are open to see the gates and walls of protection of the family. And what enters, what allow, what exists in the gates. Not only are the gate watchers of the children, but also watchers of the, the personal gate. We need to be aware of, of what comes into our ears gate, our eyes gate, our mouth gate, our nose gate. You have to be your daily post on fasting and prayer, sacrifice, dedicating your life for God to be able to stand against the wives of the wicked. There are the gates, waiting at the post of the door. The gatekeepers have purpose, meaning to be at the gate of the family, not to allow enemy to come in. They prevent overflow. They control what happened in the gate. You cannot be asleep, your sleep is inside your body. It is no man's soul. Because two people are living, the body, the soul, and the spirit. The spirit and the body cannot sleep at the same time. That is why you call it a dream. A dream means says the body has slept, the spirit had to go. If the flesh is weak, the spirit is weak. The angel is weak. Your angel cannot fight your battle when you are weak. Angel cannot fight your battle when you cannot pray. So now look at this. So now what did the enemy do? They prevent your spirit not to enter the body. That is death. Just prevent that. The whole is body. The spirit cannot come back. I have seen almost seven cases where somebody died. They bury him. The person in the spirit is begging me to go and tell the family there is no yet there. They bury him alive. I've seen it many times. The person appeared to me and told me, please, man of God, you can see. Please go and tell them, please. I'm not dead. They just bury me. And God told me, say, you are not permitted. 
There are mysteries God will show to me. You see, mystery, there's a mystery around wrong view. You think everything I'll show, I'll tell you. That, that things why they see like they are repeating for somebody. The mysteries of prophets. Don't be even secrets of life. God does not withstand with hell from a prophet. Right? Because what kills you? Your mouth is more dangerous in your body life than yourself. Satan do, will do anything to stop you. Bible said, those that know that God shall be strong and they'll be strong and do exploit. I am a warrior. I am a personality in the spirit. You must recognize my generation. The generation, the end expectation of the righteous waiting for the manifestation of sons. There are sons here that God is supposed to be roaring in the spirit realm. If they are dumb, dumb. They cannot back. But they're looking at mere food, mere job, mere business. There's no problem. You're looking for money that when God tells you to leave, to leave the earth, you have to leave. You forsake those things. Those things have become vanity. How many souls are you protecting? How many life are you giving? How many people you see have no house you helped? How many people are naked? This is what you tell us This is what the watch was. This is what the girl keep us at us. What do you do for God? What do you stay in the earth that you can stand? Say to God, this is what I have done for my God. This is what I've done to my generation. This is what I've done that if I leave this earth, there's something will be speaking for me. If you don't have money, are you an intercessor? Watch over your family. They turn your family to graveyard. They're looking for money. Mingle with awkward people. I should say to them because of what you eat. Some of you have turned to lizard. Some of you have turned to dog. My God is crying. What can life be when a man lives in life empty? What can family be? Their family gate is open. Why? The family is down today. Families are falling. Marriage and relationship is going down. No intercessors. Families are gathering together to go and gather idol. Because I had to find out that the gate is open. Nobody's watching. They decide to come back home. Because that's their home. When on Christmas, it cast away for the family. You go in a rolling place, seeking rest. Because already, you see watching where it's coming from. If they are still in the sensor, he will not find a way back. If you think you're a general overseer and bishop, then tendency you will see them end up your life in court. There's a tendency that you end up your life as a ritualist. You started very well. He said you began well. But you end badly in the spirit. Because already, you know what to do. You're busy looking for business in a posture. You don't know what to do prayer. Because you know you're blind, you deaf, you don't see. All the blessings you open and you just lay hand on you. Things are working. You start pursuing mere papers. Things where you are seeing this kind of. You don't know say that the virtue that enter you that make that bread too. Lay hand on you. When they lay hand on you, for there you become manager. For manager, you become director. For another, you become the owners. You begin to play. You, you don't know the value of announcing. You have to understand that what Allah is, what your children will experience. That's all. Who does not say no for answer? Who does not believe there's a scarcity? Because in the prayer of prayer, you cast the spirit of scarcity away in your house. You cast it away. Children got gate. Marriage got gate. Relationship got gate. Your life has gate. If you allow the gate, your house to open, you will live a miserable life. Look at it. Bible says if a thief is caught, you pray with sevenfold. And when a thief is caught, the, the death is in it. Satan is stealing for your family, you are not aware. He stole for your forefather, stole generational wealth, stole everything in the family. You are not seeing it. And it's coming back to you to start stealing, continue the stealing. And the one part of stealing is that he, he stole something. Nobody knew that he stole something. And he came back home, he, not find, he came back to the same house, he not find anything to steal. He started killing. Because of that, no, nothing to steal again. He started killing. And after he went back again, he came back again, after killing them, he not see anything to steal, he started destroying them. Killing is a description of a certain job. This is his job. Anybody in the family, I say, I saw for a man that's in the family. I saw for a man. If I not see any man, Satan will destroy. They're killing. Satan not spare children. No? He don't spare that. He don't spare. 
first thing Satan does in the family is to eliminate the man, the man of the family. That's why I see that many women you see they're like a widow. They get husband, but they're like a widow. But that's why it's gone. When you marry a woman, you marry a woman, you marry a woman plus. The woman where you marry, he says it's a sensor. That's why you marry her. You don't marry her because he has a business, he has a chevron, he have a job, he have a banker. He says it's a sensor. He said, that's awesome. When you get it, that's awesome. As a, a, a woman, he, he does not, uh, he, he said, I love you, the name, the kingdom come, there will be on earth. I see heaven. Give us business. If they have one of his man of my heart, my children will enjoy it. They will go and come back. It will also happen. You will travel. You don't need to be there, you call him pastor. Pastor, I'm not me. I want to go village. Pastor, I want to leave village. You are already in that's awesome. You are you a are mysterious person. You already understand the realm of the spirit. Get a place of warfare. Psalm 110 verse 4 says, enter the gates with thanksgiving. It's caught with praise. Psalm Genesis 22 verse 12 says, you are the son that shall possess the gate of enemy. That in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed, as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. How can you possess the gate of enemy when you're not an intercessor? You're not a watcher. Have you not seen who they appointed? See the people in the Bible when we don't read now. They are watchers. And give me uh, uh, Isaiah 62 verse 6. See what they say there. I've set a watchman upon the walls of Jerusalem. Walls of families. Walls of businesses. I shall, it shall not hold their peace day or night. Yet that make mention of the Lord. So keep no silence. God wants to be hearing your voice. She said, I'm not hearing your voice. 9 a.m. you not hear a voice. 12 a.m. you not hear a voice. 12 p.m. you not hear a voice. 3 p.m. you not hear a voice. 6 p.m. you not hear a voice. 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock, when the enemy prepare documents, when they're taking to the coven to go and judge you, you are not hearing a voice. The, your call case is sitting around you, judging your mother, judging your grandmother, judging your grandmother, judging your mother, even you connect the blood to you to judge you already. You are not in the court. So how should the, how should the judge, you know, issue the judgment to them, victory to them? When the 12 million start, he said, I am, I am a child of the Lord. Touch not and not and do my prophet no harm. Anywhere they gather, they shall not stand because the Lord is not with them. Who can say a thing and it come to pass? You tell God, say that. The devil is a liar. He's a liar from the beginning. When he speaks, he speaks of his own. God should despise him. Despise his talking of liars or the enemies. You are on the court already. You are standing in the night to speak. God will hear you. You hear you don't hear the liars. Job was busy sleeping. Job was busy talking about business people that come in. Where already court is going on against him. And the one night court, they silenced Job. Job was supposed to be Tassidi. Tassidi for his children. Tassidi for his life. Court case was going, going on. In the negotiation was going on. No interference. Free ride. Free ride. You know who lay hand on your children. You are telling your children, don't steal, don't make noise, don't do this. If that's not training, my brother. That's a usual training. You lay hand on your children. You lay hand and cast out the demons in their life. Use the word of God for them. If your children know how they train children, carry them, sit down. If they don't pray, they pray, they pray. Before you know, the spirit of prayer will enter them. Your children will not even know when they begin to shake their head. Because already they are there watching you. You are going to you are going to different pastors to go and seek your prayer. Your children now. That's what's happened. Most of their mothers many years ago, they were going to prosper to prophet, 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 fasting, taking prayer, taking prayers. They don't care their children. Now the demons, the powers in you that the children is not aware of what their mother did. They want to have brought them to come and brought their, to bring the idol back. Because they are not aware. He said, Pharaoh died. This one that came in, there's nobody. He does not know this man. They don't know what their parents report. I pray that God will deliver this generation. Amen. God will deliver this generation. Amen. Gatekeepers and men of the realms. Do you understand that children of God are warriors in the spiritual realm? If you are not a warrior, you are a slave in the spirit. Mm. God has given you central levels of power to trouble the kingdom of darkness, to trouble the powers of your family, to trouble the kindred, to trouble everything all around There are people here. How do you think watch over your sister and your brother? You are not looking for a job. You want to keep people? 
Every day, every day, I say, I say, I'm a warrior. Why, why is it my own not working? My own parents are working. Because you're a warrior. You're intercessors. Go and go work for them. You will not watch again. They will die. They will die. They will die. Who is who is God looking onto? Who did God look at? He said, "Meet Elijah. My word is with him." God have confidence in Elijah. Moses was intercessor over the throne, over the throne of Israel. He was a warrior in Egypt. Moses, Joseph came there and be the platform, be the platform for Moses to, uh, to, 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 to arise. Who is being the platform for you? Warriors. The reason why problem is happening in the family is because they have a weak, weak watchers, weak men. Nothing is going on. They are busy going, walk, moving from one place like a monkey, looking for banana. He called pastor for each. He called pastor for that. It is said they walk like that. He said so to God to deal with God like uh, I do worshipers. I do worshipers doesn't stay one place. I do worshipers doesn't have a pastor. Then they test every native daughter. Jack of all trades. You have nobody. You have nobody. You are an intercessor. Jen, you are an intercessor. You are an intercessor. God wants to use you. You are an intercessor. Mommy, you are an intercessor. Your children are looking onto you. You know, say that all graduated. You see it in the school. That's what it's supposed to be. A hey, mommy, what they pray for you, your children have to graduate. See, if they don't graduate, and you say it's a good year. That's what it's supposed to be. That's what it's supposed to be. Mommy not supposed to be in front. Mommy have to be in the back. To watch over the children. In case your daughter know they pray well, well, because mama is praying for her. I wish I see mama would pray for me like that. My brother, my sister, it doesn't work like that. So one day I will go, come on with your head. Every man was here. If you tell him, you pray ten prayer points, ah, it's too big. Ten prayer points. What you gonna pray for ten prayer points? <laughs> Mommy, the auntie. You don't say you don't know for your mother, you don't see him again. You don't become mama. Now you be mommy of all. Mommy, what? That's why I call him Momojio. <laughs> mommy, what? Um, auntie, Auntie Ife? Mommy, now you be. You know, class in the ground, you don't become mommy. Everybody call me Mommy Ife. Yeah, mommy Ife. Uh, you are, you are husband now, don't be called your mom. Or mom. I believe you. Uh, he left your family, left everybody believe in you. Don't kill him, more. don't push him. Because you're you already a mommy. Jajao, 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 take your cool. Jajao. Some of you yourself, when they come to church, you say, My friend, pray yourself. So that you're, you, some of you say, If you take your picture like this, eh, you go look like a person from picture. Because you're overthinking, thinking, 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 thinking. You look for, you, you sometimes, if you, if you go and watch yourself, you're not going to come out. Your face is not going to come out. Because you're thinking. My brother, you go pray. If you pray like this, you, the fresh oil, go anoint you, you go look fresh. You go look fresh. You look good. People will favor you. Most of the pastors I had before, they go pray like this. Member of church will buy cars, buy things. But I told them before all of that. Praying all of that. You think, you think I, I don't believe in begging you for money. I don't believe you. If I need anything for you, I, I meet you in the spirit. I pray myself into where you are. You don't go rest until you see me. You don't go rest. When somebody go be in, a, be in a, a shop, use a chalk, speak, 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 speak the land, right to fight. Anytime they strip you naked, they are dealing with you. They watch you. Inside they watch you. That's why they, they, they remote you from Germany. And the best way to remote you, bring you here, see the marriage. You see where now I can I see make I save you. My brother, you go fight your way back. Watch her. Watch her. My mom went there here and I watch her. If all the children, if you see them, you go write their name, bring their pictures, stamp them, pick them, pick all that. They watch over the children. Any small thing will happen. This woman, this woman with her life, and her mama, they watch her. You know what make you die? If I don't die, sis, if I don't go, your ancestors don't go. That's why you look at me now, you don't understand what I said. See who keep you alive. Oh, yeah, the begging to go, yeah, because all children can want. All children can He watch you. He watch over your children. He give you food. He give you body. Oh, you put your own way. Every day I give you prophecy. I pray for you. I give you food. This anniversary will give you food. Eat. Eat this square. Eat your mug. Eat your mug. You get mad now. You will fight me. You will get mad now to congress me more. 
Next year, all of you will go draft us so that you know go get time to gossip again. The man doesn't have an anointing, begin to be a liar. When pastor not get an anointing, he begin to lie, he begin to manipulate people. My pastor said the Lord, where the Lord has not spoken. Show me, show me, show me that. Show me that Jeremiah 23. We know how to finish. Look at this. Look at this. That's why a lot of people are pastors now because they, they are professional liars. This one. What to the shepherds? He said, say, yeah, say what to the pastors? What to the pastors that, that destroy destroyed. and scatter the sheep of my pastor? Uh -huh. I said the Lord. Said huh? the Lord. Uh -huh. Verse 2. Therefore, thus said the Lord God of Israel against uh -huh. the pastors. He said against the pastors. That feed my people, yes? Ye, ye have scattered my flock uh -huh. and driven them away uh -huh. and have not visited them. Uh -huh. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil the of your doings, doing. yes. said the Lord. Uh -huh. Continue. Verse 3. And I will gather the remnants of he my flock uh -huh. out of all the countries whither I have driven them and will bring them again to their folds and they, sh and they shall be fruitful and uh -huh. increase. Uh -huh. Verse 4. And I will set up shepherds over them. He will set up I'm a good shepherd. If you have not praise me, praise me. In the night, I'm watching over you. That's why you're not dying. House of God is not a graveyard. I cannot turn to you as a graveyard where they're burying people. If you don't praise me, I'm a good father. Yes, I'm a good father. Nobody dying. Because if you're alive, you'll think about tomorrow. Go to many churches there, and every day they go graveyard. This one died, this one died, this one died, this one died. How many of them? Your children are intact. The glory of your children are intact. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Verse 4. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them, and they shall have no fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall you, they be. You know that all of them are not saying they hear good. They know. Shut your hands. Say, oh God, my father, say it. Make me a fire, bro. Make me a fire of the family again. Okay? Make me a fire. Make me a watcher over my family, over everybody in the family. Oh God, make me a fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth to pray. Oh Father, make me a fire. Make me a fire. In the name of I don't hear prayer. Make me fire, Lord. Father, renew my fire. Renew my intercessor, Lord. Renew my power. Renew the authority. Oh Lord, push He break it, take it. He break it, take it. 